Welcome to AI Series Part 3, Inside the GPU Cluster, where we explore how thousands of GPUs collaborate to train a large language model. Now, we delve deeper into the engine room of AI training. How do thousands of GPUs work together to train one model, and why does this process take months, sometimes even years? Each GPU processes its own slice of the training batch, meaning no single GPU ever sees the entire dataset. The global model emerges only when all GPUs collaborate, marking the beginning of distributed intelligence. It then receives results from peers, synchronizes, and continues to the next wave. This cycle happens millions of times. This is why training takes weeks or months, and frontier models can take years of ongoing updates, requiring GPU mega clusters. Every iteration brings the Model 1 microscopic step closer to intelligence. During each training step, every GPU computes its part of the job, then must share its results with every other GPU. This creates gigantic data flows, GPU to GPU bandwidth storms, and constant synchronization checkpoints. This is why AI training is not only compute heavy, but also network heavy. Your GPUs are only as fast as your network fabric. Training uses a synchronization strategy called a barrier method. All GPUs must finish their current work before any GPU can move to the next step. This ensures correctness, but makes the process sensitive to network delays, bandwidth bottlenecks, and GPU failures. If even one GPU is slow, the entire cluster slows down. That's why companies invest heavily in high-speed networking like NVLink and InfiniBand. Without these high-speed networks, training would collapse. During each iteration, GPUs exchange gradients, parameter updates, embedding vectors, and attention components. This exchange is huge, generating terabytes per second of GPU to GPU traffic and peep bytes of total communication over the entire training run. This communication layer is just as important as the GPUs themselves. People often assume training takes months because models are big, data is massive, and GPUs are expensive. But the real reason is that the training process has to repeat millions of computational waves across all GPUs while synchronizing constantly and exchanging massive amounts of information without making a single mistake. This is why training a new Frontier LLM is a multi-month, multi-year engineering effort. A failure in any part of the system, compute, memory, networking, synchronization, power, or cooling can ruin training progress.